Hello Alexers! This is a special series we're doing here on Alex, where every day we showcase the life and story of some of the most important figures in rap music. Today we're looking at… 15 Things You Didn't Know About Eminem Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello Aluxers, today we're talking about the talented and one-of-a-kind rapper Eminem. One of the first white rappers to come on the scene in the 90s was Marshall Mathers, otherwise known as Eminem. He was raised in a trailer park known as 8 Mile, near Detroit. He had a really rough upbringing but managed to make a career for himself as a white rapper. He put out a few top performing records and then started collaborating on other projects and he appeared in a biopic about his own life. Although he's been in and out of the limelight the last 10 years, he's still very involved in the world of rap and hip-hop. If you're new here, welcome! Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. Okay, how about we dive in and get a closer look at this mega producer, shall we? With the 15 things you didn't know about Eminem. Number 1. Eminem was bullied as a child. Although he comes across as a badass in his music, Eminem was bullied as a child. When living in Detroit, a young boy beat him so badly, he suffered severe injuries to his head and even had some brain damage. His mom filed a suit against the school for letting the boy beat her son so badly. The case dragged on for a year and was finally dismissed because the judge said you can't sue a school. Eminem went on to be beaten up by young black men in his neighborhood all through his teenage years, as he was one of very few white kids in the neighborhood. Number 2. Eminem Was the First White Rapper to Be Taken Seriously Eminem was a fan of rap and hip-hop all through growing up. He listened to the music and made up rhymes with his good friends in high school. His first album was a commercial failure. He actually had to go back to washing dishes after the record came out because it sold so few copies. Finally, when Eminem created his alter ego Slim Shady in 1997, his success took off. His first single, Slim Shady, was a big hit and got him an invite to sign with Sirius record labels. It was the first time a solo white rapper was taken seriously, aside from the success founded by the rap group The Beastie Boys in the 1980s and 90s. Number 3. Eminem Lived in Pretty Rough Conditions as a Child and Teenager the star's parents broke up when he was young. His dad took off to California with his two older brothers, and he stayed behind in Detroit with his mom and one other brother. They had no money and his mom never kept a job. They moved at least once a year and finally ended up in a beaten down trailer park in 8 Mile. The young rapper had to work as a line cook and a dishwasher to help put food on the table. Number 4. It wasn't until he came second in the Rap Olympics in 1998 that Eminem was signed by a record label. In 1998, Eminem, or Slim Shady as he was called, went out to Los Angeles, California to compete in the Rap Olympics. This was a rap battle like the ones he had back home in Detroit, but on a much larger scale. He didn't win, but he did come in second. A local talent scout at the battle saw him and sent a tape of his rap to Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre listened to it and realized this white kid had talent. Dr. Dre said it was the only time in his career he had found someone with real talent on a demo tape. He made them go find Eminem right away so he could bring him to his label. He was criticized for signing a white rapper, but he said it was absolutely worth it. Number 5. Eminem Has a Net Worth of $190 Million Eminem earned most of his money early in his career. He made multiple albums and starred in a hit movie, 8 Mile. But rather than squander his money like so many others, he saved a lot of it and invested wisely. He's continued to make about $10 to $15 million a year from his old music and continues to record music to this day. He's said to be worth at least $190 million. A lot of his music came from touring. With each album he put out, he would go on a world tour earning millions every time. He's also started his own record label, Shady Records, which earns him a nice sum every year as well. Number 6. 
The rapper was once fired from his job a week before Christmas. Before he got his big break, Eminem was working at a local restaurant called Gilbert's Lodge. He was a cook and a dishwasher. When his baby Haley was born, he was working over 60 hours a week to make enough money to pay for diapers and formula. When his daughter was only six months old, he got fired from his job a week before Christmas. He only had $40 to his name to buy her Christmas presents. He was surprised he was fired, and so are we. When reporters spoke to his old boss, he said Eminem had a great work ethic and was a great employee. Number 7. Eminem was a drug addict until 2008. After celebrating 10 years of sobriety in 2018, the star finally admitted to just how bad his drug addiction had been early in his career. For over 10 years, the star used just about any substance he could get his hands on. His addiction was to prescription pills, all of them. He started using Vicodin, but moved on to oxycodone, Xanax, and anything he could swallow. He said his drug addiction was out of control. Friends and family would tell him he had a problem, and he'd tell them they were crazy. He said that since he never used heroin or cocaine, he didn't think he had a problem. But it wasn't until he overdosed and nearly died in 2008 that he realized he needed help. He went to rehab and has been clean ever since. Number 8. In 2001, Eminem was charged with assault with a deadly weapon. Back in 2001, Eminem was charged with multiple felonies when he attacked a man outside of a Michigan nightclub. The rapper saw another man kissing his wife, Kim, and he attacked him with a gun. He didn't shoot him, but he did beat him with the pistol. He was charged with assault with a deadly weapon and illegal weapons possession. Most of the charges were dropped, but he pled guilty to the possessions charge and was sentenced to two years probation. He got off lucky, though, because he was initially facing up to five years in prison. Number 9. Growing up, Eminem wanted to become a comic book artist. When he was in middle school and in high school, Eminem was a big fan of comic books. He wanted to be a comic book artist when he grew up. He loved English class, and he loved rap. He realized that by reading and using the dictionary, he could come up with some really good song lyrics. So he abandoned his hopes of comic books and went on to try his hand at music. Things didn't turn out too badly for him in the end. We think he made the right decision. Number 10. The Musician Gave Away a $450,000 Diamond Necklace Eminem enjoys buying nice things. In addition to his many Porsche and Ferrari cars, he likes nice jewelry. He had bought himself a diamond necklace for $450,000. He was wearing it on stage at a concert once when he noticed a fan admiring the necklace. Out of nowhere, Eminem took the necklace off his neck and gave it to the fan. He didn't plan it and she had no idea he was about to do it. Can you imagine? Not a bad trophy to get from your favorite rapper, a necklace worth more than most people's homes. Number 11. Eminem recently put out a song criticizing Donald Trump. In 2018, on his latest album titled Kamikaze, Eminem wrote his second song attacking Donald Trump. This was a follow-up from his album a year before, where he made a lot of shots at Donald Trump and Trump supporters. When he first posted his song online, it got over 49 million views in no time at all. He even pissed off some of his fans who were Trump supporters. A year later, on his new album, he said he meant everything he said. But he did apologize to his fans for how he said it. He said he feels bad for people who are fooled by Trump. Clearly, he's no fan of the president. Number 12. In 2018, Eminem engaged in rap battle warfare with fellow rapper Machine Gun Kelly. Over the years, rappers always go back and forth with other rappers, making fun of each other and calling them out. One rapper that Eminem has had long-running problems with is a rapper named Machine Gun Kelly. Ironically, Kelly is probably the most successful white rapper aside from Eminem. Kelly called Eminem out for being old and washed up. 
But then Eminem made headline news last year when he released a song in response to Kelly's rap. The battle actually topped posts on Facebook for days, with people saying which rapper's side they were on. Number 13. In 2014, Eminem set the world record for most words in a song. Rappers are known for singing fast and working a lot of rhymes into their songs. Eminem took this to a whole new level with his song Rap God. The song is 6 minutes and 4 seconds long and has 1,560 words. That's an average of 4.28 words per second. With this song, Eminem actually broke the world record for most words ever recorded in a song. He was one of five different musicians to make the Guinness Book of World Records for that year. Number 14. He doesn't allow cursing in his house. Despite the fact that most of his songs include many curse and choice words, Eminem the father does not allow any cursing in his home. He doesn't curse and he doesn't allow his daughter Haley to curse either. He said if you come into his house, obey this rule because he doesn't want anyone cursing near his daughter. When asked how he feels about the lyrics to his music being so profane, he said it's other parents' jobs to decide what they want their kids to listen to, not his. Number 15. Eminem is involved with a lot of charities. Although he plays the bad boy of music, deep down Eminem has a huge heart. He's involved with numerous charitable foundations, including Save the Children, 9million.org, and the Marshall Mathers Foundation. He's involved in 15 other charities as well. There are just too many to name here. He dedicates his time, fame, and money to these causes that are important to him. He knew what it was like to grow up with nothing, and he wants to do all he can to make sure other kids don't go through the same. Well, Aluxers, that's a wrap on Eminem. Before you go, we're curious. What's your favorite Eminem song? Let us know in the comments. And of course, for sticking with us until the end, here's your bonus. Number 16. He failed ninth grade three times and dropped out of high school. Eminem is a very smart man, and he was a smart kid. However, he had trouble in school and failed the ninth grade three times. After that, he gave up and dropped out. He started working and helped to put food on the table. Clearly, he's great with the English language. That's how he came up with so many awesome lyrics for his amazing songs. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.